In this video, I will provide a quick overview of the security page. The page is divided into three sections, user sources, roles, and revoke access. The user sources area contains all the users in your instance. Five different user sources are supported, internal, LDAP, Windows Active Directory, SAML, OAuth2, and OpenID Connect. Each source has an options menu to configure and enable or disable the user source. Internal is the default user source. Under the user table, you can create a new user, edit an existing user, or delete a user. When you create a new user, assign a username and password. Input the user's email address and enter a one-time password key to use two-factor authentication. For more information on enabling two-factor authentication and to see what authentication methods we support, visit our documentation site. Next, choose a display name and assign the user a role. Users can be assigned multiple roles. The Roles section lists the available security roles for your users. Each role contains a set of permissions. By default, there are two roles, Control Host and Control Administrator. You can edit, delete, or clone roles. To create a new role, click Create Role. Enter a role name. Select the permissions you'd like the role to be assigned. Click Show Reference to view definitions of the permission types. The Revoke Access section allows you to quickly revoke host passes, host connections, or authentication sessions. These actions force your users to re-authenticate into your site in order to regain access to machines. This concludes the security page overview. For more information, please visit connectwise.com slash control docs. Thanks.